Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Few mention those names around here anymore, but I suppose it is just as dangerous to deny they were ever part of the Order. When I was still on Coruscant, Revan and Malak often came to me for additional training. In particular, Revan's hunger to learn seemed insatiable. I should have recognized this as a warning sign, but I perceived the young Padawan's lust for knowledge as simple exuberance and eagerness. Revan was my most promising pupil. One I felt sure would someday become a champion of the Jedi Order. The Jedi Order moved too slowly for Revan and Malak. We were too cautious in their eyes. They always sought to learn far quicker than their masters felt was prudent. It is one thing to understand a lesson, but to truly comprehend it takes a wisdom that only comes with time. Several years ago, when the Mandalorian threat first arose, Revan and Malak were eager to journey to the Outer Rim to defeat the enemy of the Republic. But the Council felt it best if we moved with care and caution. The true threat, the Council feared, had not yet revealed itself. But Revan would not be dissuaded. Charismatic and powerful, it was inevitable many of the Order would flock to Revan's seemingly noble cause. Malak was the first to join his closest friend. Others soon followed, many of our youngest and brightest, intent on saving the galaxy from the Mandalorian threat. They were foolish to disregard the Council's wishes. I do not know what happened to Revan Malak and their followers on the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim, but something corrupted them. Their ideals became twisted, their spirits were tainted, and they fell to the dark side. There is a lesson in this. A lesson you would do well to take to heart. The dark side can corrupt even the most noble of Jedi. You have learned much. Yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Greetings, my young. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan, and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge.
It is relaxing to come outside and enjoy the fresh air once in a while. It relieves stress. Yikukumo no ba mulera tikun tong hit kun chunching ne boboje mata ne punage dolpi kikuana. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi wana kun bez ching palamule tonging ba no no tek tokning chatu kun ne. Mulerabes. Ah, Pakupa Chekopa? Gino Mulera King Paija, Slimopodwama? Mujashak Pakat. Kiyeno no Nama Baule Rachikun. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. destroyed Taurus. This bodes ill for us. Kun hunka bi, wana kun bez ching palamule tonging ba.
If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our Enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. You do not know the Jedi Code? Without knowledge of those doctrines, all your training will be for naught. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our Order. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the Force. Learn these truths, Apprentice, or we shall all regret the decision to accept you into the Order. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has Soon your apprenticeship will end in the traditions and customs of our... These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon first, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions in everything you do. You must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. That is not correct, Apprentice. Perhaps you are not yet ready. There is no shame in admitting weakness. Feel free to speak to the other Jedi in the Academy if you require assistance. They will gladly share their knowledge with you. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. May the Force be with you. Greetings, my young. Soon your apprenticeship will in the traditions and these tests will see if you have truly first. You must now prove you there is no emotion. There is no ignorance. There is no passion. There is no chaos. There is no death. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order. The lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal.
Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Tsar's bidding. He sees great promise in you. As do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Here is a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it.
Good evening, apprentice. I trust your training goes well. I have faith that you will achieve the rank of Padawan soon. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress. May the Force be with you, apprentice. I see you insist on wandering the halls of our enclave when you should be busy studying your lessons. It appears that soon you will achieve the rank of Padawan. Master Jar is most impressed with your progress, but I cannot help but wonder if you move forward too quickly. Uh-huh. What? Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect. 
and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? You have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. When you feel that you are ready to continue your training, know that you can find me here. Greetings, my... For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. If you have questions, you should... Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our Order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith, there are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. Of course, I could not tell you the entire history of our Order. The Jedi have existed for thousands upon thousands of years. We are as old as the Republic itself. Instead, I will begin 40 years ago with the War of Exar Kun. Like Malak and Revan, Exar Kun was a Jedi who fell to the dark side and led an army against the Jedi and the Republic. Exar Kun was defeated, but the war left both the Republic and our own order severely weakened. For 20 years we struggled to rebuild, trying to erase the scars of the terrible conflict. Twenty years ago, the Mandalorians, aware that the Republic was in a weakened state, began conquering small worlds on the Outer Rim. They were careful to choose only planets outside the Republic's jurisdiction. After much debate, the Senate chose not to intervene. As long as the Mandalorians avoided planets that were members of the Republic itself, there would be no retaliation.
The Mandalorians stockpiled resources from their conquered worlds, preparing for massive assault. Seven years ago, they launched a simultaneous attack in three separate sectors of Republic space. The Senate had no choice but to retaliate with the entire Republic fleet. The Mandalorian Wars had begun. The Republic petitioned the Jedi Council for aid, but there were many factors to consider before we allowed ourselves to be drawn into another conflict so soon after the war with Exar Kun. While the Jedi Council preached patience, there were many among our order who were eager for us to join the battle. Two young knights in particular demanded immediate action, Revan and Malak. They rallied many of the Jedi to their cause, and against the wishes of their masters, joined the Republic fleet battling the Mandalorians. Revan was a brilliant military leader, and the Republic fleet began to win victory after victory. Four years ago, the Mandalorians surrendered unconditionally. Revan and Malak were heroes, the great saviors of the Republic. A third of the Republic fleet was under their direct command. And then something happened. Instead of returning after the war's end, the ships under Revan's command went deep into unexplored space. They claimed to be searching for the last remnants of the Mandalorian fleet. All contact was lost. For many months, it was assumed some great disaster had befallen the entire fleet. Everyone thought they were dead. There were unsubstantiated rumors of Revan and Malak being seen on a number of different planets during these months. Scattered sightings that were never confirmed. Three years ago, Revan and Malak returned at the head of a massive invasion fleet. Revan had assumed the title of Sith Lord. The hero had become a conqueror. Some of the ships in the Sith fleet are those that were under Revan's command during the Mandalorian Wars. But many more are of an alien design we've never seen before. The source of this massive fleet is one of the many things about the Sith we cannot explain. It seems impossible to have created it in such a short time, yet we cannot deny its existence. The source of the Sith soldiers is unfortunately much easier to understand. Initially, the bulk of the force were former Republic soldiers who had served under Revan. With each conquest, thousands more flocked to join the invaders, swelling their numbers. Even many of our own order have betrayed us, lured by Sith promises of riches and power. For two years, the Sith were all but invincible. Fortunately, Bastila and her battle meditation allowed the Republic to win a few key victories and kept the Sith from total triumph. In desperation, we set a trap for the Dark Lord. Bastila was with the strike team that tried to capture Revan. As you probably know, she was there at Revan's end. That was nearly a year ago, but things have not improved. Malak has stepped in and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord for himself, though he's far from Revan's equal in strategy or tactics. Still, his fleet continues to grow in both ships and soldiers. If we do not find some way to stop the Sith soon, Malak will overwhelm us with sheer numbers. Revan's tale shows us how even the greatest of Jedi can fall to the dark side. You must always be on guard against the evil that dwells within you. Think hard upon this lesson. May the Force be with you. Greetings, young... As chronicler, you should ponder the history of Revan. This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of master. We must protect over-eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal, but there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. You should ponder the history of Revan. 
It contains many lessons you may need if we hope to defeat Malak and the Sith. May the Force be with you. Rahatia Sandral is a nice young woman, but her father has been keeping her at their estate since her brother went missing. Arlen Matali likes to lord his wealth over the rest of us. What I wouldn't give for him to eat his own words. His son seems like a nice boy, though. Yes, what's on your mind? Dantooine's a boring place. It's all plains and herders and small settlements. Perfect for the Jedi to lose themselves in, I guess. That's all I can think of, at any rate. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <sighs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. No, I don't want to talk about it. What I want is to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Very well. What is it you wish to know? Ah, yes, those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? About 
Me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? As I have said, I believe, my name is Nemo. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. Indeed, my young friend, that I am. I have served the Council for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. I think, perhaps, you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place, high or low. Is there something else I can help you with? Very well. What is it you wish to know? Ah, you can find two stores here at the Enclave. Aerotech has opened both a general supply store and a droid facility, and I think you will find their products quite good. The supply store is run by a Twi'lek named Kratos Yurkel, a talkative being with a big chip on his shoulder, but generous despite that. The droid repair facility is managed by Carol Carr, a bit brusque perhaps, but a good being nonetheless. We have shared many a game of Bazaar in the small hours of the morning. Is there something else I can help you with? I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Well, well the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something. Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well. And no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? My name is Gar. Me and my fine wife, Rilke, here... A pleasure. ...live on one of the northern farms. But the cat hounds and the Mandalorian problem has been getting really bad of late, and we're here to ask the Jedi Council to help. Recently, the cat hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad. Too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the Council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Farewell, then. May the Force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yes. May the Force be with you. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Oh. 
Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Please, I beg of you. Find the Mandalorian Raiders and destroy them so my daughter can rest in peace. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... companion, you see? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see, and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Not that I know of. Um, none of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. The door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He is the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much.
Are you a Jedi? A protectors? Ha! Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding... There was nothing I could do. I've come here to ask... Please, I beg of you. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it.
No problem. Didn't work. Sure.
Uh -huh. Yes?
Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. children instead. Anything! This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Leave immediately. These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. Perhaps we should respect their wishes.
What?
Sure. Ready? Sure. Uh-huh. Yes? What? What? Ready? What? Ready? Uh-huh. 
Yes? What? Ready. Sure. Be your doom! Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embraced the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought.
Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? I have fallen, and dark power courses through my veins. I can never go back to the council, so here I shall stay. The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? You... you do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. I should convince them that I am truly repentant, that I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future.
Yes? What? Sure. Yes?
Ready? Sure. What? Ready? Sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
ready. What? Chuta, Unga could be Stolpe Kikuyana. Don't Patugas Bakelia. Unga di Kotonga could hunker me. One could be his ching palamule, tonking bar no tag. Tokning chuck to cone, mule rabbis. Mucha shark pakat. Kino no dama paule rachiku. Takum just stach miki grabul mogo kachichu ita bodunga tolo bank ole oganda naru chuchut ole sha punga bola wana chike amule slimo poda da nanga kumbis mule rabes jedo bado wana ni di bobo tong na bunja ni nunya tong bado kashmak telea Tonga di ho tonga kun honka bi, wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nuno tek, tuk ning cha tu kun ne mule rabes, ka chi kun ita ho donga, i king kun o pa mule ra chi kun, slimo po dona rundi ho donga ku honka be. Tong hai tuam jiji jong lung pa, ni ta po e tiki to. Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gandona Chuchut Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga Yumalita Kuto Dun Chila Mulane Nindu Bobo Wonga Kumbis Chang Ba Mulera Runga Di Hotonga Kun Hunga Bi Wonga Kumbis Ching Bala Mule Tung King Ba Nuno Tek Tuk Ning Chatu Kunde Mulera Chikun ita ho donga, ikin kuno pa mule ra chikun. Slimo po dona, rundi ho donga ku hunka be. Runda di ho donga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule, tung king ba nuno tek. Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mule ra bez. Ka chikun ita ho donga. Ikin kuno pa mule rachi kun Slimo po dona Rundi ho dunga ku hunka be Runda di ho dunga kun hunka bi Wana kun bez ching pala mule Tung king ba nuno tek Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mule rabes Ka chi kun ita ho dunga Ikin kuno pa mule rachi kun Slimo po dona rundi ho dunga ku hunka be. Runda di ho dunga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching pala mule tung king ba nuno tek. Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Mucha shak pa khat. Ki ye no no dama pa ole rachi kun. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? Huh, 
Greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one most of the has a list to help you with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Clay and the social government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold and Metic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Metic. Is there any information you require? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cathounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? My preliminary analysis. Is there any other? Very well. I will be here to assist you. So, what do you want to know? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. So, what do you want to know? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie ass. I haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those calf hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot, pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body and the Iriaz was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? Ah. So, what do you want to know? Right. How can I be of further assistance? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can I be of further assistance? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Of course, of course. So, what do you want to...
Well, I was out hunting Erie ass south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. Right. How can I be further? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. How can I be of further assistance? Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be... So, what do you want? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that... Right. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotak. Tuk ning chatu kune mule rabes. Takung jus tachmiki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolo bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Bolisha punga bola wana chikne. Mule slimo podada nanga kumbis mule rabes. Es jedo bado wana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tong patukas magtalea. Tong hai tuam jiji jumblumpa. Nita po e tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachichu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Muchishak pa khat. Kiyenu <laughs> Polisha punka bola wana chikne. Wa mule slimo podada nanga kumbis mule rapes. Is there any other? My preliminary analysis of the book. Is there any other information? Very well. I will be here. Oh, a coup. Runda di hotonga kun hanka takum jus tak miki. Jedo badwana ni di bobo. Tong hai tuam muchashat pakhat. Oh, a coup. Kun 
Tu ninja tu kunne vulnerabes. Cedo baduana ni di bobo. Tong na bungsha nununya. Tong patukas magtalea. Ta kung jus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mule sha punga bola wana chikne. Ma mule slimo poda dara nanga kumbis mule rabes. Cedo baduana ni di bobo, tong na bung... Runda di kotonga kun honka bi, wana kun bez ching palamule. Mucho shak pa kata kung jus tak miki. How can I be a further assistant? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blast. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button. Master Baluk came out here. I hope that you'll be able to... Of course. Of course. Let's see if So, what do you... Well, I was out hunting Eria south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Eria in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. Right. Oh, uh, Akupache. Runda di hotong. Takum jus tachmiki. Jedo baduana ni di bobo. Tong na tong haitwam jiji jung lumpa. Mucha shot pa khat. Ka chi kun ita hao donga. Ye king kun o pa mule ra chi kun. Sve mo po dona rundi ho donga ku hunka be. Mucha shot pa khat. Chi ye no no da ma pao le ra chi kun. Jedo baduana ni di bobo. Tong na bung shita kong jus tak miki. Jedo baduana ni di bobo. Ah, akup. Tong hai juam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolfa da bong wale a gandona chu chut. Ka chi chu ita dung donga. You malita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Ta kung jus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mule sha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo fudadara nanga kumbis mulera be. Ka chikun ita hodonga, ye king kuno pa mule ra chikun. Sve mo po dona rundi hodonga ku hunka be. Mucho shat pa khat. Ki ye no no nama pao le ra chikun. So, what do you... Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I... I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. 
Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. So, what do you want to know? You Jedi are so predictable, always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Bullock guy. Right. How can I be of further assistance? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a... reputation. Very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? How can I be a further... Of course. Of course. Ah, a Koopa, Che Koopa? Runda di Hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tunking ba nun ka chi kun ita hodonga. Ye king kun o ba mule ra chi kun. Runda di Hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. But the one I need to go, don't know. Much a shark back up. Key no 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 ma paule rachikun. Runda di hotonga kun hunk. Jedo but the one I need to go, tong hai tuam. Runda di. Chikun ita hodonga, yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Runda di hodong tong hai tuam jijijung. Runda di... Ah, akup. Runda di hodong. Ah. Runda di hotong. Ta kum jus tak miki. Is there any other? The Southwood Speeder Rental Business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder has been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Cole. Is there any other information you need? According to the municipal authorities near the Darrow's baseball, there had been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusok was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? The Southwood Speeder Rental Business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? The Southwood Speeder Rental Business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick. Is there any other... According to the municipal authorities near the Darren's baseball, there had been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other... Very well. I will be here to... 
How can I be a furthers? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, certainly nothing would make me want But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything... So, what do you... Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. Oh. Takum just stach miki, grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba kachik muchashak pacha. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Cobra. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here. So, what do you... That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice... Nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. That blaster ain't it though. Calder only had the one rifle too, so he either must have borrowed that or it's someone else's. Right. How can I be a further? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Of course. Of course. Oh. Oh, 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 oh,
I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report. Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be... So, what that blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. Always wished I could get that blaster, ain't it? Right. How can I be a further? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone even an eerie as can take a man down. I would most appreciate it if I could have that. How can I be of further assistance? Knock his block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife, right under my nose, no less. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear... How can I be a further assistant? Of course, of course. Is there any other We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to. Is there any other info? I am sorry, but I seem to be I thought to find the record. Is there any other Very well. I will be ハトンガ君ハンガビ。ワナ君ベースチンバラモレトンキンバノノテク。トークニンチャトゥコンネモレラベス。カチコンイダハトンガイキンコノバモレラチコン。スリモポドナルデオトンガコンガベ。モチャ
Runda di Hotonga kun honga bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek. Tung ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Runda di Hotonga kun honga bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Tungking ba nuno dek? Tungning chatu kune mule rabes. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Chitu ba do wana nidi bobo. Tung na bung sha nunu nya. Tung patukas mak talea. Ta kung just tak miki grabal mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Dolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mule sha punga bola wana chikne. Ma mule slimo puda dara. Kumbis, mule rabes. Runda di ho tonga kun honga tong hai tuam ji ji jong runda di ho. Kun hanka bi, wana kun bez ching ka chi kun ita hao donga. Iking kun o pa mule ra chi kun. Slimo po dona, rundi ho donga ku hanka be. Let's go! 